Uh, okay. Who is New Zealand's best ever prime minister? Pass. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the optimum population for New Zealand? Sorry, what's the optimum population? Optimum population. Um, oh. Okay, off the top of my head, not having thought about this much, I'm going to say 15 million people. One five million. Tripling. Uh, who, who is one person you would like to interview? Can't say I, I'd love to. I'd love to interview Rory Stewart. He's a um, he's a former Conservative MP in the UK who uh, walked across Afghanistan shortly after um, the the Taliban's fall in two thousand and one, two thousand and two, uh, and he hosts a, a podcast very similar to your one with Alistair Campbell, who was. Um, uh, a famous spin doctor in for Labour in the UK, and uh, I, I think Rory Stewart's just an amazing thinker. So I'd love to interview him. Who's the hardest person you've ever interviewed? The hardest person I've ever interviewed is this is going to be left field. Is Willie Moon? Do you guys remember Willie Moon? From yeah, from the X Factor. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He was on the X Factor, and he was a, a musician in New Zealand. And he got into some drama with his partner at the time. Maybe they were husband and wife. I can't remember. But I just remember I did this like I had a twelve minute interview with him, and he just had this incredible ability to answer every question, regardless of whether it was an open ended question or otherwise, with a one word answer. Like I've never interviewed someone who is less enthusiastic about being interviewed. So yeah, that was that was super tricky. How would you rate New Zealand's COVID response from a scale of one to ten? Um, can I can I break it down? Can I say yeah, the first the first, first year of the of the COVID response will give it an eight, um, and the following uh, part of the COVID response uh, a six. Should New Zealand become a republic? Uh, I don't know. I used to think yes, but I'm I'm uh, somewhat le less certain. Like I say, it's good to be open minded about things, so I could be convinced either way. Should the world have nuclear weapons? Yes. Capital gains. Is that yeah. controversial? Yeah, that, that, I was yep. surprised by that one. <laughs> uh, well, no. The only reason I I mean. Uh, I mean, arguably, arguably, nuclear weapons have made us safer, right? Arguably, I, and I mean, I would just know just to 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 qualify my answer that no nuclear weapons have been used since they were used, and that, in some respects, is a good thing. If it were possible to get rid of all the world's nuclear weapons and we could rely on every nation state to act responsibly and not reintroduce them, then absolutely, I would love to get rid of nuclear <laughs> weapons. But I don't think that's remotely feasible in the current um, geopolitical environment. Capital gains tax? Comprehensive, yes. Sugar tax? Uh, Open-minded, used to think yes, not necessarily convinced, but um, I definitely think there's room for changing the tax settings to try and um, address some of our um, obesity-related uh, mm. problems. Plastic tax. But, but GST on food is obviously a stupid idea. Yeah. Plastic tax. Um open minded. No, no firm position. And compulsory today on schools. Uh I, I yes, but but only to a certain level. I think it should just be part of um you know, I think it should be part of all New Zealanders' education when they're at primary school, for example, but I don't think compelling them at, um, you know, th throughout their teenage years as necessary. Fees okay. free first year university? Uh, no, I should, think it's a good policy. Hmm? Should the minimum wage be a living wage? Ideally, yes. But uh, yeah, it, it that's that's a tough one though. Um, and sorry, very, very quickly, I'd much rather third year free at university. If you're going to try and incentive, I just think, I think having a first year free, I think the barriers to entry for university in New Zealand are pretty low because of a generous student loan scheme. But um, yeah, uh, and what was that one? Sorry, the minimum um, wage. Uh, yeah, I mean, ideally, ideally, yes. Yeah. Should prisoners have the right to vote? Yes. MMP uh, threshold lowered below 5%? Uh, no, I, I think 
just off off um, vibes, I think my position is that five percent seems appropriate. Voting age, lower it to sixteen. Uh, Open minded, yet to have a firm position. What's the biggest challenge facing New Zealand now? I think uh, we we face a massive identity crisis heading into a changing climate, and we we don't we're unsure of our our role in a world that's warming. Do you ever feel climate fatalism? Uh, no, because um, I feel like being in New Zealand gives us a degree of privilege in that uh, we are going to be sheltered from the absolute worst impacts of climate change, which is not to say that uh, I don't think it's the greatest challenge facing us. You've had... Um... <laughs> You've had a lot of cool, pretty cool jobs, amazing jobs around the world, uh, including my personal favourite of yours on the late night big breakfast. What is your, um, what's what's your what's your ultimate job, and would you ever run for office? Uh, my ultimate job would be hosting an Anthony Bourdain style show, looking at political dynamics in interesting parts of the world. And uh, no. <laughs> I, the, the more time I spend around politicians, the more I just think it seems like a grueling, exhausting, thankless job. <laughs> on that one, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Jack Tame, thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate having you on. Hey, thanks, guys. Lovely to chat. Really appreciate it. Cool.